this is Sean here and I wanted to give you a quick screencast of a really useful tool in Google Chrome so that you can see a website and find something that you like about it and then figure out how to add it to your own website so I'm going to show you here I have Google Chrome pulled up and if I go to the uh, little drop down arrow over here I can go down to tools and see developer tools now when I load this, it will show me all the HTML that's loaded in the site. And let's say I really like this purple color that they used here. Well, if I go down here, I can click the magnifying glass. And I can find the item that I want to highlight and highlight it. And now on the left hand side, it will show me the code that's used. But then on the right hand side, it will also show me the CSS that's involved. So I can scroll down through here and I can see all the different styles that are involved in this one element. And then at the top, I can also look at the computed style, which is basically the style that is being applied after all the other styles have been taken into consideration. So right up top here, I can see the color and it gives me the RGB values. I can also take a look and let's say I really like these drop shadows that are around this container. And so I can find it. Okay, and so here it tells me the class, and I'm going to take a look at the code here. And I can't find anything about the drop shadow. So maybe I need to go up a level. So on the left hand side here in the code, I can go up a level. Okay, so here we go. I have the box shadow. So there's the drop shadow that I was looking for, and I can check this on and off to see what happens. I can also overwrite these values. So let's say I wanted my shadow to be red, and this will probably look really ugly, but it's for illustration purposes only. And so I can see what would happen if I change those values too. Um, now this doesn't actually affect the page, um, so if I open it up in a new window or if I refresh the pages, those uh, changes that I made will be lost. This is only in the current display that these changes take effect. So I can show you if I just refresh the page, those changes that I made disappear. But this is a great way to see other pages or even troubleshoot issues with your own pages and see what classes and CSS is actually being applied to an element. All right, good luck.